So in this learning module, we're going to cover imperfect competition. So imperfect competition, I'll just put comp for short. And in particular, we're going to cover two separate uh, market structures in, that's kind of under this umbrella category of imperfect competition. So it's not perfect competition, it's not monopoly, it's kind of somewhere in between. And in particular, we're going to cover monopolistic competition So this is many small firms and they have differentiated products. So they're somewhat different products, differentiated products. So we have, you know, that's maybe a clothing, for example, right? So, or shoes. So, you know, all these different shoes might be slightly different, but they're still under this broad category of shoes, you know, Nikes versus Adidas versus whatever else, right? And so that's this first market structure we're gonna, we're gonna talk about uh, in this module. And the second one is gonna be oligopoly. And so this is when there's like a few large firms that kind of dominate the market. And so we're going to use kind of game theory mostly to kind of explore this um, this kind of market structure. And in particular, we're going to really concentrate on competitive behavior. So we're not going to see as much competitive behavior. We're not going to see any competitive behavior in monopolistic competition. There's so many firms that we just kind of ignore what other firms are doing. But in oligopoly, there's so few firms that when we when we make decisions, if we're a, an oligopolistic firm, we want to think about what other firms are doing when we make that decision. So it's going to be much more um, competitive behavior, strategic behavior in oligopoly. So this is when we're going to use game theory to kind of explore um, the strategic thinking. So for examples, oil is a classic example. Maybe we think social media companies, which are in the news these days. And there's kind of complaints that there's these uncompetitive practices or these markets are you know, near monopolies because they're dominated by just a really small number of large firms. And so these are the two market structures that we're going to kind of talk about within this kind of umbrella of imperfect competition.